going to electric bray. Yep. The, the, the famous electric bray. So the electric bray is a gravity hill in South Ayrshire, Scotland, where a freewheeling vehicle will appear to be drawn uphill by some mysterious attraction. The phenomenon is an optical illusion. The road that appears to be running downhill is actually running uphill and vice versa. So we'll see if we can get some photographs and put it on for Yeah. Good check out it. That's our first protocol. And then we'll go and test the theory and see what's happening. Right. So this is us at the top of Electric Bay. Bray, even. Electric Bray. So we'll see if it works. Uh, that's certainly not electric. Not that. <laughs> <laughs> right, so it's meant to start from kind of here. Yeah. So, verdict? It does work actually. It does work. It does work. Providing you find the right spot, yeah. that always helps. If you actually read the signs, it does help. Yeah. It tells you exactly <laughs> where it is. So, we're going to go along here and turn anyway because we're, we're going to take a wee nosy down there before we head down to Curvin. So, we'll find somewhere to turn, turn here probably. And we'll do one more experiment going back. And then I think that'll do it for here. Okay, take 14. Right. <laughs> We're doing right. it again. One more. This is our last attempt to convince ourselves. I am convinced. I am convinced. It does, it does work. It was working, especially on that last bit. It felt as if we were going down a hill. But the car was slowing down. Get down the hill. So we'll get over to the side. We don't want to try and run this as long as we can to that prove a point here. So what speed are you doing now? Right, so we're doing 40 mile an hour. Okay. We're freewheeling now. So it's 
So this looks as if we're going up a hill. So we have no. slowed right down here. Looks like we're going downhill. Right, we're and going we're downhill now. And we're slowing right down. So you were at 40 now, we're at 23 yeah, we, we miles were, an hour. We were at 40 miles an hour when we came round the bend. We're sitting at 20 miles an hour. We're going down a hill. We're still slowing down. We're down to 19 mile an hour. Oh, it's crazy. 18 mile an hour. <laughs> There's a car coming, so we're probably going to need to accelerate away. But we reached 15 mile an hour there. Within downhill. Probably, downhill, probably yep. within from 40 mile an hour to 15 mile an hour. Probably maybe about 100 yards, 120 yards. Right, it's quite bizarre. So yeah, good on you. Absolutely works. It does work. Yep. So you need to get your butts up here and try it. Right, so we'll cut off the now. We're going to get down to Croy. Croy Shore. And we'll see, see what's down there. There's a, a nice big room down there. We'll get down and never been looking at that before we, we start heading down there. <laughs> I check if that was on there. So this is a, a wee bit that we found called Croy, Croy Shores. Looks really nice. So there's a big beach. It's quite a nice wee caravan park just over at the end there. Um, there's toilets and stuff here as well. There's a couple of wee camper vans camping. Must be alright to sit down here. I don't think we'd get down here. Well, we would get down here with Bosco, but if we met in, then it might be a, a bit of a nightmare. It's a kind of wee single track road to get to. There's plenty of space. Plenty of space. So we're going to park here for a wee half hour, get a wee bit of lunch, and then we'll decide. What we're going to do next, I think we're going to try and get down and have a look at these caves. Um, we've still got plenty of time. We'll pick these back up in a wee while. We're pulling out of Croy Shores. Just sat and had a bit of lunch, which was <coughs> most Pl delightful. Plenty of space here to park. It is actually, yes. It's a tricky wee road. I don't think we would get, well, we would get down here with Bosco, but it would be quite tight if we met anybody coming in a steep hill, then uh, we may have a problem. But there's another bit up the back there, it's got loads of space. Um, where we get Look at the beach. Absolutely glorious here, but very, very busy in the summer, I would imagine. Nice wee bit, that, eh? Yes, it's lovely. The one thing I will say is, but I noticed there's quite a lot of dog mess where we were parked, um, just behind us. Bag it to people and put it in a bin, please. I think one of them you need a wheelbarrow for it right now. <laughs> There's a holiday park in there. <coughs> nice wee bit as well, eh? Yeah. There's a steep hill, this is a, a wee steep hill. Do you know the thing with these caravans? They look how close they are again. They're very close together, look. That's just sides, we're just used to a red wee caravan, but well, there's a space on about that. Yeah. We will take you down and show you the caravan at some point this year. It is a little bit of heaven, isn't it? Yeah. It's like everywhere else. If you get the weather, it's fantastic. We would go up here with Bosco. You get in there, anybody, you'd be able to park in there. It's a nice wee bit in there as well. Mm -hmm. This is a wee road out. You've got another, there's an electric prey up there. You can see a car coming across it now. I was actually quite taken aback by that. I know yeah. I had my doubts about it at the start, but we were obviously looking in the wrong bit. It helps if you actually read the signs. Yeah, that's very true. But yeah, that was pretty cool. <laughs> So what we're going to do now is, we're going to go up here, um, we're going to head down into Girvan. We'll go into the big car park at Girvan, right on the, the front. Might have a wee wander about, go for a cup of coffee maybe. 
and then we'll possibly head down to Sonny Beaton's cave, but we're doing a wee bit of research into it there, and it's quite a, a treacherous climb down into it, um, and if you don't get the tides right, seemingly you can't really get into it, so we'll go down here and we'll do a wee bit more research into it before we, we commit to going down, because it's we're actually not all that far away, we're maybe about an hour. 15 mile or something, if that. Um, so it would be nice while we're down here, but if it doesn't happen, then we'll need to get prepared the next time. Yeah. And, uh, make sure we bring everything that we need to us. But we'll pick his bag up every while again. Certainly. Okay, bye for now. Look at that down there. Look at that down there. Look at Two minute maidens. Just down the road from. Troy Shores, basically. It's lovely, it's going to be Boat Harbour. The only thing is, they put really low height restrictions on the car parts, which is unfortunate. Yeah, two metres, so. 2.5. 2.5. We're in Girvan now, we're in a big car park, right in Girvan. Um, you can see plenty of space for motorhomes. So we're going to go for a wee wander. They're saying it's £10 a night. And you get a free seagull. <laughs> <laughs> um, but category M, I don't know what that means. Vehicles only, motor, motorhome. Pay rules, a hundred pound penalty if you don't pay. You pay by your phone. It's the same as that kind of Ringo thing, eh? Yeah. Uh, no activity. You're not allowed anything outside it. One vehicle per bay. Category M vehicles. Uh, fee payable via the cashless system. Blah blah blah. No, I mean there is public toilets there, but they're fifty pounds a pop. Yeah, if you need a pee and you've not got a toilet, it's going to get quite expensive. It is a bit windy there. Natasha's hiding. There's only one motor home here today. But as you can see, a beach. Which is lovely, man. So we're going to take a wee walk around the town. Well, the harbour anyway, I don't know so much about the town. So we'll pick these back up in five minutes. We're just going to walk over here and see what it's like. We were actually just speaking to a local there and uh, he advised us not to go down to Sonny Bean's cave. 
just with what we were saying earlier on about the access and stuff like that um, it was quite steep and you've got to time it with the tide so he says the best time to go down is at low tide so we've kind of missed the tides and stuff so we'll go for a wee wonder about here and we'll see what's what I'll give you a wee bit of information about Sorry Bean just now So Alexander Sonny Bean is a legendary figure said to have been the head of a 45 member clan in Scotland in the 16th century that murdered and cannibalised over a thousand people in 25 years. Nice guy. So he lived in the cave obviously and all of his offspring were interbred, all of them, and the children grew up basically on humans. So. And he lived there until he died, or until he, I'm sure it was until he died. No, they, they, um, they all he... got executed. That's I what think it was. the story goes that the something about the all the girls got taken to Edinburgh and they got burnt because they thought they were witches or something as well. Right, okay. And the boys all got executed. I don't know if they got beheaded or what. So, or something. so I don't think we'll be going. So basically, he had 14 little beanie babies <laughs> um, that lived on a very high prote protein diet. Um, Die, legs and arms. Yeah. The odd butt. They must have been eating boobies and everything, man. Oh. <laughs> no. Right, anyway, we'll cut off the noon, we'll pick these back up in a wee bit. So is this for ones that's been lost at sea? I think it, it is, isn't it? Service without whom the country would not have prospered and survived. Revived. Only knowing the grave is the sea. So, yeah, poor, poor sailors has been lost at sea. It's quite new, by looks at huh? Nice. Yeah, come on, we'll go down this way. So, we're right down at harbour now. That monument statue is just at the harbour. It's very quiet today, eh? Very quiet. I don't think there'll be a lot of boats out today, right enough. Well, it's Sunday, isn't it? The fishermen don't sail on a Sunday, do they? Is that right or wrong? I don't know. Fishing boats, your lifeboat. I can't believe how quiet it is. Right, Natasha. There's golden balls. <laughs> golden balls. <laughs> golden bells, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do that big puddle. So I'm assuming this is kind of the start of the town centre, eh? Sorry, wouldn't we boat in it? Yeah. It's a big boat, man. You know what I mean? A big wee boat. Maybe we'll take a wee walk over this other bit and see, see what's what. So you can get tours through here to go to Ailsa Craig. Um, I don't know if it's seasonal, I'm assuming it would be. But they should be starting now because obviously this is the start of the season. So what's this for? This is the uh, prices. Oh, is this for the boats? Yeah. There you go. Four metre. Is that? That's not bad actually. That's actually not too bad. That's a wee boat down there that does all Craig stuff. See it? Oh wee yeah. Brown one. Wee glorious. Mm -hmm. I can smell fish and chips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we'll take a wee wander back over here again. Here we have a memorial. And it's to the everlasting memory of Alexander Clacher, sea captain and ship owner. It's quite grand actually. Here's James. Say hi. 
It's fresh, very, very fresh. You can see the hills are big. Nice spot. Oh, it's windy. So I think we'll kind of wrap this one up here. Eh? We'll go and get a van and we'll start heading back up the road. Um, we'll probably do a couple of wee stops on the way back up the road. Eh? Yeah. But we'll head back up the air. And then we'll take it from there. From there. So. so it's a cheerio for her. It's a cheerio for him. Just for the new. <laughs>